All right, welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we are going to be continuing going after the uh, the upgrades and the watchtowers. But first, and I do say first, I want to head over to this off-roader. Oops, there we go, that off-roader. Should be a pretty quick trip up there with the NK, not a Russian military truck, 38 civilian. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I've I have had a lot of comments because I I tend to mention the Russian military. Um, I did learn uh, back in Michigan that this was not a Russian vehicle, uh, that it in fact is uh, modeled after a U.S. military vehicle, or at least I believe it's a U.S. military vehicle. Uh, but I'm sure I'll hear about that if I'm wrong. Uh, but I did mention that I wanted to make it look like it was a Russian military vehicle, so I decided to use this uh, camel paint job, which basically makes it look like any type of military vehicle, whether it's U.S. or Russian, so... Uh, oh. Oh, well, yeah, that's convenient. That's also convenient. Let's go ahead and uh, throw some gas in this beast, because uh, we're going to need it. Uh, well, maybe we won't. Who knows? I, I'm pretty sure we're going to need it. We just got to go straight up this road. Uh, should be pretty simple. It is uh, paved most of the way. And uh, yes, I had a couple of comments pointed out that if I change the muzzle on this truck, we won't have to stare through dark, thick clouds of horrible diesel exhaust. So, ah, uh, crap. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to accept this challenge. We're not, uh, we're not going to do it yet. But we have accepted it so that we can, uh, do it later anyways. I'm pretty sure I can just climb right over this. Yep, no no need to clear it. What's what's the point? <laughs> I feel like they should have made that just a little bit harder. Uh, I have beaten the crap out of this truck, so... Uh, but we've got one last mission. I think where we're heading is to uh, a mission called the Off-Roader. And I think that's where the scout vehicle is right now, so... Uh, obviously we're probably not going to be able to, um, to, to move it and or maybe, nope, maybe I'm wrong. This is, uh, yeah, this is definitely not what we, uh, are planning to do, but you know what? We can, we can definitely call it back with this, with this vehicle, so. Uh, but that we will wait. We don't have a service trailer. Uh, and that's the gateway to Zimmergorsky. Uh, yeah, we're gonna call that the Gore, I think. I don't know. I, Zimmernegorsky. Zimmernegorsky. I think I'm saying that relatively close. If not, then, um, please feel free to leave a comment and tell me how to say it. Uh, I will try to say it, and I'll probably screw it up anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's just the, that's just the way it is. So, let's jump over to our, well, first of all, let me do something that I never do. Uh, let's stop the engine. Then we're gonna jump over to the, uh, Yara 87. We're gonna fire this beast up. And we're gonna leave this where it is. I don't quite have a, uh mission for it yet so we'll probably end up getting one uh, as one of the contracts but as far as a task is concerned it really really doesn't look like it's it's going to be a task all right let's try to get down to this road I think I can just sneak through here I was gonna go take a jump off the cliff but I think we can just squeeze through here oh wait didn't see that tree there and now we can turn. Yes. Yay, we did it. The show can go on. 
Maybe not as planned, but it's gonna go on. So, uh, yeah, right now we are shooting for this upgrade. And I'm just gonna go straight for it, and then we're gonna head over to that watchtower, and then... Possibly that watchtower, unless there's an upgrade, or a truck, or anything... ...in between us and that, uh, final watchtower, so... Sorry, I guys. Sorry, guys. I, I kind of clickbaited you. Uh... In the last episode, naming it, can we get to all the towers? Uh, when clearly we didn't, but, uh... You know what? At least I, at least I didn't lie. I, I asked that as a serious question. And uh, at the time, of course, I knew we didn't make it because I recorded this, so... <laughs> Anyways... Not really overly important. Uh, I find the clickbait videos get a little bit more views, so... Uh, but it's hard to come up with clickbait uh, names. I guess, like, I'm just gonna have to get really creative. I don't want to lie too much. I don't want to be like, oh, Russian nuclear power plant exploded in the next episode. And clearly, I don't even know if there are nuclear, Russian nuclear power plants in the, in the vicinity. I think there is. Uh, I know there's definitely radiation issues, but uh, yeah, let's check out this upgrade. Uh, obviously, it's not for this vehicle, but it is for a list of other vehicles. So, oh, the KS KRS Bandit, uh, the Step, the Zeeks. I think I'm still saying that wrong. Zykes, and yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. So, all right, so we got one upgrade. That's a that's a good start to the to the video. Let's go attempt to get the next watchtower. And we're just gonna We're just gonna reverse out of here. I think that seems like a solid plan. Come on, there we go. Alright, back on firm ground. Well, semi firm ground. <clears throat> I bet you my my pickup truck wouldn't be able to get through there very easily. I uh, yeah I, <laughs> I was trying to do some real life snow running uh, a couple months ago, probably probably more than a couple months ago, is about the springtime, and I just headed off this up this little trail to see what they were they were clearing out an area of, of forest. Uh, I'm assuming probably for a neighborhood, but I wanted to climb up the the hill and see what. Uh, see what they were doing up there and yeah I, I got up the hill no problem because it was uh, kind of like a mix of gravel and dirt so that was pretty easy but then at the very top it was just kind of like a, a really thin grass and the second I went to turn around I just slid <laughs> and I'm like I'm sliding down sliding downhill into a deeper ravine and I just have regular you know the 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 Wrangler SR whatever tires that were on my truck when I bought it because I wanted to upgrade them to a nice pair of all terrains uh, just because I, I don't have to worry about switching them out in the winter uh, they, they act as a summer tire and a winter tire and uh, yeah so these tires I, I, I just I couldn't spend another two thousand dollars on tires when I just bought the truck I was like, well, we might as well wear these ones out first, and they're uh, they're actually getting there now. It's, they've been on the truck for five years, so uh, they probably have maybe 30k left in them. Uh, but anyways, I uh, yeah, I tried to turn around, and I just I almost got stuck. I was uh, basically able to throw it in four wheel high and and weasel my way out. But even four wheel, I was just spinning all four tires, so. Uh, it wasn't, uh, it was a little nerve-wracking. Uh, it didn't help that my wife was in the vehicle with me, uh, yelling at me, screaming, and, and saying that... <laughs> that I got us stuck, which, I mean, I did, I knew that, obviously, I was driving, so of course I got us stuck, but... You know, you know how wives can be. Um, not really overly particularly helpful with their comments. Uh, looks like we actually do have to go back. Um, let's just sneak up here. I think we'll, I think we'll be just fine getting up here. But yeah, so needless to say, if I had my all-terrains, I probably wouldn't even noticed. Uh, I definitely wouldn't have needed four-wheel drive. 
uh, but it's, yeah, once those street tires get, uh, once those ribs get full of mud, they just don't work at all. Uh, but anyways, enough about my real life snow runner. Uh, I kind of wish I had it filmed. <laughs> uh, I am actually in the process of getting a camera. Uh, just because drivers around me are not particularly, uh, good. <laughs> um, in fact, the worst part is, is that I've seen, I think, three accidents already. Uh, that's happened pretty close to the time that I was getting there or happened right in front of me. And, yeah, I was like, I wanted a dash cam and then the one accident happened and then, yeah. So I'm like, you know what, let's just do it. It's better if somebody cuts me off or something, especially if I'm pulling the trailer. They cut me off at a red light, which I've had happen before because people are idiots. And it's like you're you're taking away that 30 feet or so, 30 to 40 feet of braking that I need, especially when my trailer's full. Uh, you know, they take that away, so it uh, becomes harder to stop, <laughs> uh, especially if you're pulling up to a red light and you're already starting to slow down for the line and then somebody pulls in front of you at the last minute uh, anyways so uh yeah let's uh yeah let's go get that watchtower and then we'll hit that upgrade and then maybe maybe get that last upgrade i just i just had the worst feeling for for some reason that i uh didn't hit record but i did so no need to to worry about that guys you are watching the actual recording as it happens right now at this very moment and I did not have to re-record so that's always that was always a plus uh, but yeah so if you guys like this video please hit the like uh, button if you don't like it then obviously hit the dislike button but please nobody has done this yet let me know why you hit the dislike button that's all I want that's all I ask of you uh, I love it when you guys hit the like button and then tell me why you like it that's amazing but I do want to know why the people who hit the dislike button hit the dislike button. So if you could leave a comment, let me know. Uh, you know, and you can honestly be like, it's boring. It sucks. I don't like it. I don't know why it's in my feed. Probably that's the main reason why I get disliked uh, is, is because YouTube put it in somebody's feed and they clicked on it and they're like, what is this? And they don't, uh, yeah, they don't normally watch SnowRunner videos or even video games or anything. It's just one of those weird fluke uh, videos that come pop up because I know I've had a lot of videos like that. Um, and a lot of them are the, oh, the reaction videos. I hate reaction videos. I really hate reaction videos. Like, just show me the video. And I, I don't know how it works as far as the YouTube algorithm. Like, I don't know if you get paid on reaction videos because you're taking somebody else's content and just saying, Ooh, this is amazing. Or this is really stupid. You know, you're giving your reaction to it, right? Everyone's seen a reaction video. So, um, but anyways, let's, uh, I, dig yeah, I digress. <laughs> and uh, let's launch this last watchtower. So uh, at least when I write the title of saying, did we get them all this time? You guys can answer yes, so uh, there we go. We've got all the watchtowers already unlocked. That was pretty quick. We've got this upgrade and this upgrade, so that's what I'm going to aim for. And then maybe we'll come down here. There's not. There's not a whole lot of task. There may be one or two up here. Uh, this quarry looks a lot like... Wow, where do, where do I even go to get into this quarry? Here? And then I gotta cut down or I gotta drive back this way and in here. That might not be too bad to get down. That's gonna be completely washed out. Uh, the best way to get back up is probably up that way and then cut across here. Or come up here, so... Uh, we'll, we'll figure that out. I know the other quarry was... This one looks like it has a little bit more roads to it and a couple different ways in and out. So, uh, but yeah, we don't really have to worry about that right now. I got, I got a little distracted, so I don't know what the 
best route is I think we're going to have to come down here first and then go up there. It it might be that this is the only way to get in and out. So if that is the case, then I'll go get the other one in the swamp and then we'll come back. Uh, but let's let's back the truck up. Let's head off this way. Got to watch out for that stump there or that stump. We've got, we actually have a couple stumps here that we need to watch out for. Alright, so now we're, uh... Oh. Found a stump. No, why would you pick the one anchor point that just moves? I can drag that tree into the ground. Ah. Uh. Yeah, like that tree right there would be perfect. Just drag me up and over that stump. All right, we're good. We're safe. We're we're back on the road. <laughs> Get me away from these stumps, jeez. Uh, ironically, that was my wife's nickname on her co-ed softball team. In I think it was after college, but uh, she wasn't very good at catching apparently, so they called her stump. So, just a fun fact if you guys wanted to know. And uh, if you're one of the few people who are friends with her, <laughs> please rat me out. Tell her, I, tell her I told everyone this. She'll love me for it. Alright, so anyways. Uh, oh, I gotta go up that way. Oh, this is gonna... This looks bad. Uh, that looks more plausible than the way I'm going. I need to uh, I need to get that little tiny van vehicle. Cause yeah this thing's just gonna hit every pine tree. You know what you guys are probably calling me crazy right now. And uh, I'd agree with you. Like these pine branches would just break. They'd hit the vehicle, but they would break. Like, break. Thank you. Oi. Alright, let's keep going. No, you're not going to pick up the entire vehicle. Um, we're so close to it. And this is, this is very, very hard to see. I remember as a new player going through, trying to cut through woods like this, and... The trees were just a nightmare. Come on. Uh oh. Think. Think we may be in trouble. Can I get through here? Is the water safer? I can't even see. Um, I want to go for the water because at least there's no pine branches. There we go. Okay. I can't believe we just made it through there. Uh, good news is we're not going back that way. Alright. We got an upgrade for a truck we don't have. I Well, I guess we have the Tega. Nothing else though, so there you go. Now you guys know where that upgrade is. I will be putting those in the descriptions so that you can uh, easily search for my video and uh, try to avoid going the path I just took because that was uh, that was pretty rough there. I have a feeling driving around would have been much faster. All right, so we gotta go back and get this upgrade. So we'll just follow this trail up and around. We will uh, try to try to do this as fast as I can. So um, I do have a special announcement to make. I now have two people in my Discord, excluding myself. So a total of four, three people. <laughs> So I'm proud to uh, mention that. 
Uh, seems kind of silly, but I know. It's, uh, it's growing though. I mean, it's good. Uh, there was a lot of chit chat uh, yesterday while I was working and unfortunately I couldn't join in. But uh, it seems like everyone was getting along nicely and sharing their uh, thoughts and their um, concerns and, and cheering about, um, I believe in the, I believe it's on Steam that there's a lot of things on for SnowRunner that are on sale right now, um, including an, a vehicle that is 50% uh, off. So uh, I believe it was a tight Tega. Uh, I don't remember the model. I want to say six something. Not six. Not the six oh five, but the other one. But that is, I believe, fifty percent off from what I read. But like I said, I was busy at work, so I wasn't able to join in too much. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's kind of cool to see that growing as well. So uh, if you guys like this game, uh, consider joining joining that because uh, we like to share our information and questions and our thoughts of, of, of the game, so... And, uh, oh cool, we got a tuned suspension for the Dawn 71. Uh, I think I sold that a long time ago. Uh, so it might be, might be interesting to, uh, take a look at it now that, uh... Well, now that we probably have way more upgrades for it than we did back in, uh... I believe we found it in Alaska, if I wasn't... If I'm not, uh... No, the Don 71 is Michigan. It was like one of the scout, one of the first scout vehicles that we found in Michigan. So I am going to, looking at all that mud there, I'm going to try to take the shore. Uh, it is very treacherous around here. Like it's a little, everything's off canter. There's potholes and this looks like some sand with some mud, some hills. Oh, there's a vehicle down there. Are we supposed to rescue you? Oh, look at that mud. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, well, I guess we can yank it out. I don't have a mission for it yet, but I'm assuming we have to, to rescue it. So let's just go ahead and do that now. We'll just pull it up onto the road. I knew I was going to end up smacking that tree. Alright, so we've got it up on the road. So now maybe... Now maybe we can actually pick that up with a loading bed or something. Although I'm not a fan of the loading bed that was there. Uh, just because that one is... Uh, it's the ramp that drives me nuts because it completely blocks your view. So if you use it, you pretty much can only use it in first person mode. Uh, which is a little on the unfortunate side, but I did use it once, so I mean, at least I can say that. But really those vehicles are, are easy enough just to yank behind and, and it's not like you have to worry. It would be kind of cool if they made it so that uh, if you damaged it any more than what you than what it was when it was in the water or where it was stuck that you you kind of have to pay for that so that would give you incentive to use uh, a loading ramp and a, a truck with a flatbed uh, let's yeah let's go check out this uh, barge that has sunk And uh, I'm not really sure if going this route was better or not. We've got a pretty big rock in front of us. Let's uh, try to go around that with no issues. This is rightfully muddy back here, so... We are down to 11 gallons, but have no fear. I, I think we have at least 30 or 32 gallons in our roof rack, so that's always a bonus. Uh, you know what? How many repair points? Oh, we only have 300, so we wouldn't have been able to do it anyways. Ah, that's okay. We'll bring a, a more adequate uh, vehicle to do some repairs. We do have a scout fuel trailer. Yay! Although, again, this vehicle will not... Or will it? Now I, now I don't remember. Let's try to hook it up. I don't think it does. 
Even though it has a hitch, which blows my mind. I feel like if it doesn't pull trailers, that it shouldn't have a hitch on it. I mean... Never mind. Look at us go. I, uh, I don't know what I'm talking about here. I forgot what, uh, what Scout <laughs> has a, uh, that doesn't pull trailers. I could have sworn this one didn't pull trailers too. Anyways, long story short, let's go, uh, let's go see what this cargo is. Is it cargo? Yeah, so this is a pickup point for cargo. All right, well, doesn't seem to be much else around here. I don't see anything lurking in the woods. Nothing's popping out at me like a vehicle. Um, like this vehicle is. Boom. We've got an orange tree here, so that's not probably nothing to write home about. All right, well, uh, what to do, what to do, what to do, because we have found all of the upgrades. Ah, scratch that, hold on. Let's actually check to see if we found all the upgrades. Uh, probably. For 11 out of 24, there's still two more maps, which means there's 13 uh, upgrades left, so maybe. Uh, but we definitely got the, all the all the watchtowers, so... And again, we found one vehicle out of one, so I don't, I really don't know what that means. <laughs> I don't understand that. Um, I think it's some type of glitch that they've just never bothered to fix. Uh, but I know we've, we found the Dawn and that doesn't count because we have obviously already found it. Uh, the truck that we first started out by, uh, that one we technically haven't found yet, even though we found it. Uh, there was no indication that we have found it. It has it's just sitting there. Um, so I'm thinking it's whoa. Oh wow, the uh huh. the invisible wall for that I guess prop there is uh it's pretty big, so. Alright, let's try to get out of this wet sand. I might as well haul this back somewhere. Um, yeah. There's there's nothing really over here. There's no. There's one pickup point. So really, this side of the map, once we do anything with the uh, shipping containers, we won't have to travel onto basically this whole. This whole section of map right here. <laughs> like, unless we want to go to Zimmergorsk. Um, but that goes to... How do these work? Alright, so we've got two points that go to that. We don't have any points that go to the rift yet. So that's interesting. And then we've got three points that go to the drowned lands. So, I'm going to guess that we have to, we're probably going to have to open up another point to the rift. And I think that is up here somewhere. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's down over here. I mean, that kind of looks obvious. That just dead ends, right? There's, there's so much of these parts of these maps that were designed that you don't even see. Like, what is the point of this little area? It's not really a shortcut. Anyways, let's get moving. We uh, are going to skip to morning. It looks exactly the same as it did before I skipped morning. And uh, yeah, we're just going to uh, slowly head back. Maybe drop off this fuel tanker at a trailer store, which it's not necessary at all whatsoever. Although it might not be a bad idea to leave it here if we need fuel, but I think we'll be okay. We might have a bigger fuel tanker somewhere 
on route to here because all this is this is mostly mud, right? So it's all gonna be nice and slow. Nice and slow driving like this, so Let's see if we can't pick up our speed a little bit. Yeah, we'll use the, the winch to help us along. Uh, the only problem is, whoops. Which way do we go? And that's gonna head back towards the drowned land. Ah, I'm not, I'm tell you the truth guys, I'm not really sure which way to go at this point. Um... I mean, we're kind of back to the quasi main road. I, I think I think we'll leave this vehicle here for now. Uh, let's go ahead and refuel it. We'll steal it out of the uh, scout trailer. And I think I'm going to jump into. Yeah, I'm going to jump into the uh, the MK. Don't even have a trailer store, do we? Oh, we do have a trailer store, okay. But boy, is that a long ways away. Alright, let's go to the trailer store. Let's get... Let's get, um... A repair. You know what? I'm, I'm more tempted to drag this vehicle back. Let's try to drag it back. Let's see how uh, how well it moves on its own. And then we don't have to come all the way back here to uh, fix it. Uh, attach winch. Now I'm going to pull it backwards. Probably the whole time. I don't, yeah, I don't really see a point to go forward or to, to stop and turn it around, so. Yeah, this is, this is way faster than driving all the way back to pick up a repair trailer and then driving the repair trailer back to the truck. So when you have power like this, this is a uh, pro tip here. Uh, just drag the truck back to wherever you're going. Ooh. Yep, just, yeah, yeah. Oh, now we're leaking fuel. That's okay. If we, if we make it to the, uh, the trailer store, which I gotta pay attention which way we go. We gotta go, we actually have to turn here. We're going to uh, do a little bit of off-roading with this thing. I'm hoping there's no stumps through there. <laughs> Got a little nervous. Got a little nervous there. Alright. Ooh. That was a that was a deep uh mud pit there. Little little deceiving. Come on, truck, you can do it. High gear isn't gonna work. Low gear, there we go. Stop those tires from just spinning too much. Can we get some speed up? Now we're really spinning them. Okay, we are officially out of fuel, so we're no longer leaking fuel. So that's a bonus. Although, if I was smart... Yes, I know, you guys are probably yelling at me, but I'm, I'm catching on faster. Uh, I should have taken the fuel out of it when it started leaking and put it into this truck. Because that wouldn't have wasted it. So, yeah, I'm sure... Uh, I'm sure... Uh, and I still don't know if you go by Eli or EJ. 
Um, but yeah, I'm sure you're yelling at me for sure. Uh, oh crap! Of course, went the wrong way. Wait, which which way did I just go? <laughs> Didn't I turn off here and now I'm facing back that way? All right, uh, we're gonna turn around. So <laughs> I must have cut through somewhere, somewhere I wasn't supposed to. So uh, yeah, we're gonna pull this truck the correct way now. Which is important because when you get back to the trailer store, people are gonna look at you funny if you're if you're hauling it backwards and you're not supposed to be. So you know, it's just something to keep in mind. All right, good enough. Uh, do 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 do. Boom. Off we go. Like I said there's no point to turn on the truck because it uh, it's completely out of gas at this point. Um. Man, it's it's really hard to see in Russia. There's so much fog everywhere. I'm hoping I'm hoping the other maps are not quite this foggy. I don't know. Let me know. I think I'm pretty sure I can go in and turn off atmospheric fog. Um, so let me know what you guys think if you prefer the fog on or if you would like it off and kind of have more of a clear, a clear understanding of uh, our surroundings. So, but uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the the comments there. Oops, pushing the wrong buttons. Ah, uh, yeah, I think we'll we'll just follow the store. And then we'll go from there. Or follow the store, jeez. Follow the road to the store. Yeah, and, and nine times out of ten, uh, unless you're, unless I was heading towards this truck, uh, it's it's definitely easier to bring this truck to the trailer store or to the repair trailer than it is to bring the repair trailer to it. Because honestly, at the end of the day, chances are you're going to have to bring that repair trailer home. Or this way, it doesn't really matter because you're right at the trailer store. So another pro tip. And saying pro tip was brought by brought to you by EJ. Yeah, corrected me on it because I kept wanting to say top tip, but I know like that's that's a British thing, and I'm like that's not the saying that we always use, but it's usually pro tip. Um, there may be another one that I can't think of right now, but uh, I'm not too surprised about that. <laughs> Anyways, let's uh, get this in here. We're going to. Drop it off, and then we're going to... Oh, look, another fuel tanker. Uh... Oh, it's way over there. Okay. We're gonna swing around here. Kind of on the backside. Now you can see it. Ooh, there we go. We can grab the... Repair trailer. Somewhere in here. Uh, ooh, yeah, we're gonna need this one first. We're gonna have to get two because we need fuel. And uh, I definitely do not have enough fuel in here. Although we could steal it from the scout trailer. Next time I have a scout in this area, I'm gonna have to return that. All right, let's repair. We want from the service trailer. You know what? Let's let's repair our truck too while we're at it. Like, why not? And then uh, we will repair the gas tank. That's that's the most important thing to fix first, uh, especially if you know you're not going to have enough points. Uh, but repair that so it stops leaking, and then you can put some fuel in it, and then you can go get another trailer to uh, to finally fix the rest of it. But that's usually only if you have, say, like a scout, uh, where I wouldn't have had enough points to uh, to fix it completely. So we. Found a trailer finally. I'm not really sure why that did just is just now showing up, but that's okay. 
Uh, I think we got some experience points for it, so... That's a teeny tiny bonus. Let's sell that. Let's pick that one up, because this one has uh, plenty enough gas. And we will fix up, or refill, I should say, uh, this truck as well. And the Zeets 5368. Uh, so let's refuel. We're gonna fill us up first, and then we're gonna fill it up first. Second. There we go. Okay. And look at that, guys. Did that not just work out like it should have? Um, in fact, you know what? I'm just gonna leave this service trailer right here. There's no point. We don't need the money right now, so we can always return it later. And if I could figure out how to uh, detach the trailer, that would be awesome. But yeah, that's uh, worked out so much better. Because as I was saying, I was going to have to drive all the way here, pick up the repair trailer, not have enough fuel, but bring the green repair trailer, Take it all the way over there and then drag the trailer and this truck back. Or come all the way back, get another trailer, drive it all the way back just to find out that I gotta drag the, the truck here anyway. So um yeah, it's it's complicated. We got lucky here because I have driven the truck to other places and then I ended up having to drag it somewhere else, but you know what? Most of the time you're gonna be closer, so. Uh, we are still over $500,000, so that is amazing. Uh, we got 430 points for it. We got 5550 bucks for it, and uh, yeah, there we go. Um, well, uh, what do I want to do now? Like, we've got trailer there. We've got a trailer there. So this trailer... I don't know, do we even, oh, accidentally hit something. <laughs> Can we use this trailer? This would be a good trailer for getting, this would be a good trailer for getting that little vehicle. Um, little overkill. Wait, where am I? Oh, geez. We're way down here. Um, yes. Yeah, so where was that little vehicle? It's there. All right, so we are actually a very long ways away from that. Hmm. All right, where can we get some metal beams? We need to drop them off there. And it looks like we need to bring metal beams from the uh, the other side. I'm going to guess the drowned city. Let's go to the global map. Let's go back to the ground lands. Which is kind of backwards from Michigan and Alaska. Because normally this is your first place you came from. And then these were other ones. But for some reason, Groundlands is now on that side. But like Northport's your first one you're in. And then Black River's the first one you're in. I don't know why they why they did it like that. It's, it's backwards for some reason. But the quarry is the main hub for getting to all three of the other sections. So... I almost feel like you were supposed to start off in the quarry and then end up going into the drowned lands and, and whatnot. But anyways, uh, let's take a look at the map in the drowned lands. We'll figure out. We'll figure out where the metal beams are because uh, we are going to run out of time. Uh, so let's just let's look at the map real quick. We're going to come in all the way over here. Yeah, so I want to say the warehouse here. Oops, no. Let's actually do it this way. Yeah, so the warehouse here, I think we pop in here from the quarry. So it's it's not too far out of the way. So let's... Let's go back to the quarry. See, it even it's even picking the quarry as the first load. So, I, I I'm not really sure why they did that. But uh, let's grab.
grab the MK. And we can haul this back, and then probably once we get to, uh... Once we get back to this gateway, we'll probably call it an episode. Uh, there isn't a great direct route, so we kind of have to go up first. We have to go away. And, uh, yeah, we should... Yeah, it's a four, it's a four slot trailer, so... There's the glitching again. I haven't seen the glitching in quite some time. But it's back. I believe we've got to go up this way. First, and then we'll, uh... Just bury ourselves in the mud. Ooh, is this trailer not good for mud? It's, it's starting to look that way. Ah, uh, it's, it should be okay. Maybe, maybe we'll trade it in for a sideboard. I mean, you just, you can't really beat a sideboard trailer. And the funny thing is, is I'm literally at a trailer store. Uh, what to do, what to do. You know what, let's, let's fight with this trailer. We're probably going to realize that this was a bad idea. Oops. Let's try to stay on the road here. But yeah, we're probably going to find out that this was a bad idea. But you know what, you live and you learn. I don't think we've, uh... I don't think we've used this trailer yet. Because the uh, the other ramp trailer that we have is a tongue trailer. It's not a gooseneck. So I think this is a Russian tr map trailer. Or Russian trailer map. Or Russian... Yeah, Russian map trailer. There, <laughs> there we go. Um, okay, so now we want to go... I guess we'll stay on this road. And snake our way, yeah. We'll snake our way all the way back to, uh... The Drowned Lands. It's so weird saying it like that. I don't know why. The Drowned Land. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just weird. Who knows? <laughs> it feels awkward for some reason. Alright, let's, let's hope we have enough fuel. But I'm pretty sure we brought a tanker with us, so we should be okay on fuel. Uh, we're gonna go a little off-road there. Alright, and we gotta get back. Uh, pretty sure we go left. I mean, I don't really have to check. And I was wrong. Why was I wrong? You know what? We can still go this way. It's fine. We just have to take the next right and then the next left. Stay out of the deep mud. Although there was there was uh, some logs there, but nope, we're not gonna throw mud. We're just gonna go into first gear and use the winch to yank us. There we go. Come on. Come on, there you go. There you go. So yeah, it looks like these uh it looks like these flotation tires are doing pretty good in the mud. Like I cannot see anything. I'm gonna try something real quick. Uh let's go into the settings. Let's go into video. I've turned film grain off. I have never enjoyed film grain ever in my life in a video game. You take a 4K video, you throw film grain on it, and it looks like it's a 720 video. 
Um, anyways. Uh, ambient occlusion. I think that is... No. Volume fog. Off. Hopefully this works without, uh... Uh, no, it's still fog foggy. Uh, maybe I have to reset. Or, uh, reset. Restart the, the game. I feel like that would be probably something that I've come across before. Uh, but yeah, if you guys were wondering, I'm running everything in Ultra. Um, so volume fog. I'm gonna turn this off. Settings have been applied. Yes, I want to apply them. No, it's it's still foggy game. Um, if anyone knows what actual setting this is, let's try another one. Uh, I do have motion blur on. I'm not really a fan of that either, but I just never bothered to turn it off. Light shafts, mirrors. Yeah, I don't really know what else it would be. I mean, light shafts are... I guess we'll turn those off as well. Water quality is high. Ambient inclusion is low. Can I turn that off? Yeah, I can turn it off. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Maybe I have to restart the game. Because um, it's still foggy out, right? Like, you think the fog would have gotten rid of that, but... Maybe we'll find out in the next episode once I restart the game. Uh, if it looks just a little bit clearer. I'm just, yeah, I, I'm... I'm running into the issue of looking at the fog and just thinking... Uh, really what it's doing is it strains my eyes. Because I, I strain my eyes a little bit to see through it, right? So, um... I mean, it's, it's no, it's not at any point where it's painful, but it does kind of just, you catch yourself squinting, trying to get, look through it. And I understand how pointless that is because it's not real fog. It's, squinting is not going to make it go away or make it clear up any, but um, yeah, anyways, maybe those will all disappear and we'll come back and it will just be perfectly clear. There won't be any effects. You'll be able to see everything around us 100% all the time. Um, but if that's not the case, then yeah, I don't really know how you turn off the fog. I, I really thought it would have been the ambient fog. That seems like it's probably the, the thing that it would be. But anyways, let's try to get this back to the other Russia. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, the fog will disappear when we load uh, the Drowned Lands map. Maybe that will be the uh, governing factor. Alright, so we are definitely back on track here. We're only a quarter of a mile away from the... Uh, the entry point, so... And the good, the good thing is, is we can only take two loads of steel on this anyway, so... Um, ideally, I would like to bring more materials back this way. Instead of making multiple trips, you just... You bring back what you can. You fill the trailer up, basically. Because uh, you don't want to bring it across a, a half full trailer. That just doesn't make any sense at all. Alright, we should be okay if the trailer goes into the mud puddle, um, but not if we do. So let's try to aim away from the mud puddle. This quote unquote crater. And yeah, we'll just yank that through. Hopefully it's going to dig, but. It's all mud, so it should move out of the way. Let's go around that one. And I think we still go this way. I think that's a trap. They, they built that to be deceiving. Yeah, because this is where the, uh, the two trees are that are blocking the road. 
we're gonna try to go down here and go around. Let's go inside and then, yep. It's so much easier to pick your uh, winch point from the inside of the cab. Come on, get me up this hill. Get me some grip. Great. Well, let's uh, let's do that right there, and that will easily get us up this hill. Come on, dig, bite, bite, dig. Come on, you can do it, and we did it. Well, we're just gonna go for it. Bounce over everything. This area around here is extremely rocky for some reason. Somebody somebody spawned too many rocks on accident, and then they decided to leave it. So Alright, let's go to the drowned lands. Let's double check and see where we are as far as the atmosphere, because that's what I want Russia to look like with very little fog. Uh yeah, it looks like it's still pretty foggy. Um but then again. I don't know, it looks pretty good. You know what? I'm gonna try one thing. And let's travel back to the quarry and see if the quarry is still foggy. Definitely foggy. But much, much better. Much, much clearer. So uh, let's go into the settings. Go to the video. Let's go all the way down. I'm going to turn back on. Where are we? Ambient, occlu ambient occlusion. We'll go back to high. Volume fog. We're leaving off. Light shafts will turn back on. Let's accept. You think that little flicker there would be enough to uh, change it, but... Yeah, for some reason it isn't. So let's uh let's go back. <laughs> and uh we're we're gonna end the episode there. Uh we're coming up on the one hour mark, so that's that's a good spot to, to leave it. We're um Yeah, this I just find this much more softer on the eyes. <laughs> if you if you guys know what I mean. Um so yeah, let's uh Oh we got a ruined warehouse. There's so much work to be done over here still. Uh, but we've got everything as far as the task, so we're definitely going to be working on getting everything sorted out, so. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and shut off, because I'm... I didn't think about that, but we only have nine gallons. We only have nine gallons left, and we are that far away from the fuel, so. Uh, I got a feeling. You know what might be a good idea? I haven't done this in a while. But let's uh Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to uh bust out our mobile fuel. Actually it's our mobile uh service, right? Because we've got what is our friend maintenance add on? It should tell us. Yeah, so we've got okay, it doesn't tell us how much. Why? Okay, let's just Leave the garage. First of all, we gotta we gotta make this look better. I'm thinking yellow or red. Um that's too pale, that's too dark. What's the yellow look like? Ugh. I wish the yellows would match. I don't understand that. <laughs> like I want that yellow to match that yellow, but you know what? We're gonna go with red. It's bold, it's brave it's it's definitely got a lo russian license plate on it so please tell me the azov is a russian vehicle or modeled after a russian vehicle because i know i don't think any of the actual semi trucks are except for the cat <laughs> brand and the uh maybe the western star and then you know a couple of the other ones 
but I don't think these ones are actually licensed. They're just lookalikes. And then they would probably obviously have a different name, but you know what? I don't know. I don't know real trucks in the real world, so unfortunately, but I know Cat, and I know Western Star, and I know Kenwood, and I know some of them, so we'll just leave it at that. But anyways, let's leave the garage there. Wow, it just looks, it looks so much clearer now. It's so much brighter, more vibrant. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take this truck and we're going to end up using it as a mobile fuel center. Uh, but we're going to have it on standby. So we're going to park it. We're going to park it right about here. Right in the middle of the road. Actually, you know what? Let's let's be funny. <laughs> I don't know why I find this funny. Let's park it right in the water. We're going to we're going to park it up right there. And uh Heck, it doesn't even look like the back wheels are touching the ground. Uh, but we're going to leave it here. We might have to drive it all the way over to fuel our uh, our MK. But yeah, we're going to have to uh, hopefully get that to the fuel sense or the fuel station before we uh, before we go anywhere else. Because the factory. And I probably should do this before I start the next episode. Uh, but the Factory is not where we need to go. Hey, good to know. Uh, where did I see metal? It's not the trailer store. Ah, uh, it's the warehouse. So we gotta go way over here. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get to that fuel center. And then we got a long drive anyway, so I don't know. Maybe we'll drive the as off anyways to the uh, the warehouse, and then we'll do a train back. Cause then that way that guarantees us we have repair points, we have fuel, we have I think possibly spare tires as well. Uh, let's just check. Yeah, so we got five spare tires. We got three hundred points. We've got one spare wheel, I believe, on the truck itself. And then, uh, am I blind? Where does it say how much fuel I have? This does have fuel on it, right? Oh, you know what? The fuel is under refueling. Uh, we have 370 gallons, so we have a good chunk of fuel. So let's, uh, stop that engine there. No, no point in wasting it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call this an episode. So I rambled on a little bit towards the end, but I I, I feel like I'm getting better. So if you like the uh, the episode, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps out our channel a lot. And then if you want notifications when I release my videos, it's Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, usually around 9 a.m. Depending on if I. Uh, am I able to record or if I have to record in the morning then it's a little bit later in the day um, but that all that all depends on my schedule but if you want hit the uh, bell button and you'll get notified when new videos come out so uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll see you in the next one bye for now